Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today we are going to see how can you improve your stable diffusion knowledge and also stable diffusion prompts. So this video is going to introduce you lexica.art but I'm going to tell you how you can leverage lexica.art to improve your stable diffusion images and what can you do about it. And um, lexica.art is created by Sharif Shamin. So he, he, he was known for uh, creating something called uh, dbuild um, when it was peak GPT-3 time. So now if you want to know about the technology that powers lexica.art, it actually uses clip embedding um, and uh, it uses vector search phase um, for, uh, for, for, for indexing all the images. So now, um, now you know, th th this was a geeky information. Like if you are interested in actually knowing about lexica.art, but to get into actual content, like what I wanted to tell you is, how can you leverage lexica.art to improve your stable diffusion um, prompts? First, let's say, typically, how, what does it happen? So you have, you have got stable diffusion access and you want to create something using stable diffusion. Let's say either on Google Collab or on, um, or on um, um, Dream Studio. So somewhere you want to do something with stable diffusion. So first thing that would come to your mind is uh, you have a prompt. Let's say I want to create um, a beautiful sunset, maybe like a beautiful sunset. So first, what I'm asking you to do is as part of the workflow, first, I would suggest you go to lexica.art and then search for the prompt that you want. Why? Because if you have got either GPU or even if you have got um, if you have got the Dream Studio API, now you don't have to run it on that system and then wait for what the result is going to be. First, what you can do is you can run it here and then try to see if anybody has created a prompt like this beautiful sunset. Once you search for beautiful sunset, it's going to show you all the images that are indexed by lexica.art related to beautiful sunset. Now you know that when you search for beautiful dot suns, beautiful sunset, you're going to get all these images. But you know, honestly, you may not be interested in all these kind of sunset. You might be interested in one particular type of sunset. So let's look for that. For example, let us say I am quite interested in sunset that is um, that is somewhat maybe like this. Let's say uh, someone like this or this. When I click this thing, uh, I get two options. One, I can copy this entire prompt, okay, and uh, which which is like I can copy this entire prompt, and then I can check similar images. Option one. Option two, I can click this button called Explore this style. When I click Explore this style, now it's going to give me all the images that are similar in nature. So when I click explore this style, I have two options. I can click the settings button and then I can search by image relevancy or I can search by prompt text. If there was no other prompt that is exactly as same as this, then we would get this result saying that no results found. Try switching to switching the search mode. But when we give search by image relevancy, then you can see that it has a totally new set of images that are similar to these images. Let me give you a different example. Let's say I've got something um, like this. And it's talking about, what is a prompt? It's talking about epic professional digital art of a little girl in a pink space suit. Um, and you can see all these images. You can see all these images. Now I'm going to go pick one of these images. Maybe you know what? I don't want all these images. I'm going to pick um, this, this image. So I'm going to pick this image. I'm going to say, explore this style. What is the prompt of this image? A woman named Yoshimi battles pink robots, illustrator detail 4K. So I can click explore this style and it is going to show me all the images in this particular style. You can see how it is very similar like this abstract art fashion. Uh, so you can see all these images. So what I'm telling you is if you have got a prompt, and if you want to run it on stable diffusion, the first thing that you need to make sure this the prompt is itself right. So if you do not know, or if you do not want to waste your API calls, or if you do not want to waste your GPU computation, or even if you are okay to do that, I would still suggest you first come here, lexica.art, and then search for the prompt that you're interested in. And um, we already discussed that when we say sunset, we get it. So the other thing that you can do is, Let's say this is this is, this is an image that I want, and you can see a lot of things here. Um, 
all these are actually individual tags for example let's say i want i want an image related to batman let's say i to search for batman after i search for batman i've got a lot of images um maybe batman is a terrible example um to show but uh, let's see let's see if there is any batman that i like so ooh, 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 ooh. maybe daredevil does anybody like daredevil so let's search for daredevil okay we've got a daredevil um so we have got a bunch of daredevils here so it looks like maybe let's say i want a cartoonish you know comic book style i want to click this now i know exactly what is a prompt that led to this this particular result so now i can click lot of other options for the same prompt as well so now what i know is when i want a particular daredevil image i know what is that extra things that i need to add to get a particular daredevil for example if i say um, what should i say if i say um, van gog i don't know if, did i spell van gog correctly okay so van gog gog okay that u is not a quite cool um if i take a particular image right and then you can know by reading this prompt that what are the settings that you need to give to get an image that is like this maybe you know portrait fragrance um, pack shot by portrait fragrance pack shot by van gogh highly detailed saturated colors fashion so now what i can do is i can just click this and then see if there are any other images based on this again it's looking for image relevancy but i can say search by image prompt text so when you search for this particular prompt text these are the images now you know that you don't want to waste your api calls does it means that one of the images like exactly with the same prompt resulted in this do you want this image um, as as your prompt result no of course nobody would want this image so that's why i think it's quite important for you to come here to lexica lexica.art and then search for this um to the right images so what did we learn so far so we learned so far that if you want to create an image using stable diffusion my suggestion is first come to lexica.art which which is um like a search engine for a stable diffusion images come here and enter your prompt and then look for two things one look for the additional words additional text additional keywords that go with the prompt just like we saw like if you say take this wolverine image if you take um if you take anything else maybe you know this if you take anything else then you can see what other things go with this prompt text that help you in deciding um, whether this prompt would work or not first one second thing is you can also come here and then look for a particular style like maybe you know what this is the type of style that i like maybe you are developing a cartoon maybe you are developing a comic book maybe you are developing a game scenario so maybe you want to stick to a particular style that is quite important because when your storyline moves you don't want to change your style a lot and now this prompt has a lot of details so instead of copying everything running everything you can just click here explore style and then see what kind of images are there like you can see all this like very gothamish like if you are familiar with the batman setup these are all very gothamish night images and you can now you know build on this prompt and then you can use it so this is this is an easy way to improve your prompting with stable diffusion also it's also another way you can save your api calls or uh, computation but just coming to lexica.art and then exploring what kind of images are there what kind of images people have already developed and how you can leverage it like for example this is a very wonderful image so synth wave emma watson wearing headphones animated trending on art station portal it's a very simple prompt you can see now i can do this explore the style and then you can see that all the other synth wave related images now i can start building on top of it so now i know i can take one of these prompts and then i can just replace emma watson with a different actress or actor or a different entity and then i would get a very similar image and now if i want to explore different styles for example this is one of the style this is a different style um this is like this is totally different style so i can explore different styles so this way you get to save your prom uh, you get to save your gpu computation api calls and all these things 
and like you said you can change um, two search options one is image relevancy that uses um, like I said the clip embeddings to uh, use similar images uh, or also you can just literally search by the prompt text in itself um, either way so as you can see lexica.art uh, currently boasts over 10 million like it's 10 million stable diffusion images and prompts and then uh, they've got a discord community that you can join and then um, this is this is really exciting time and then once again like um, Sharif Shamim created this and this is viral almost everybody is uh, using lexica.art uh, so that's it thanks Sharif for making this but um, if you are looking to improve your stable diffusion prompting um, better art better creation like whatever you would like to call it with stable diffusion I would strongly encourage you to check out lexica.art any questions anything you found interesting let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope you stay safe take care peace